Good morning. Welcome to this vlog. Just left Orange Theory. Shocker. I feel like I start every vlog like this. Today was so hard. The girl next to me was like, is it me? Or is this class never ending? Like, it's so long. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm right there with you. This is like kicking my butt. Oh, I'm so happy it's over, but... It's always the best start to my day, getting a little workout in. And we're having a day today, okay? We have a lot going on. I leave for Boston tomorrow. So today is just like packed. I have to go make a return right now. Why can't I even think anymore? Gotta walk Brody, shower, get ready. Oh, I gotta self tan because Max and I are also doing Valentine's Day a week late since he was away for Valentine's Day. A week ago so we're having like a fancy valentine's dinner tonight we're gonna go out and i'm wearing like a light outfit you'll see in these pink pants that i thought were so like valentine's day so i'm a self tan or else yeah i'm just like so so pale and oh i gotta like finish packing everything walk brody i have a nail appointment there's a lot going on but first <laughs> so we can get through our busy day you guys know my new favorite order recently cold brew one pump of vanilla Splash oat milk. I just can't stop thinking about it every day. So, I'm thinking like a Because mm. I'd always get vanilla cream cold brew. A lot of times it'd be too sweet. So recently I tried this and I'm like, oh yeah, this is my new order. But every day, I feel like the first time I got it, it was like the perfect amount of sweetness. I feel like yesterday I didn't even taste the vanilla. And today it tastes like so much vanilla. Very sweet. Maybe it just depends on like who's making it. Also, it seems like a lot of oat milk. Like I want like a light little drop. Maybe I should do light splash of oat milk. Now we're getting gas. Because future Gretchen tomorrow is gonna be so glad that I got gas today so I don't have to do it tomorrow while I'm on my drive. Back home, didn't even show the return, but it's one of those happy returns. Happy returns are the best, you guys. They're like so quick and easy. I love when it's one of those. Brody and I are gonna go on a walk right now. Do you wanna go on a walk, sir? Walk outside. Did you just hear my stomach growl? I literally feel like you could hear that. I'm pretty much packed up for tomorrow. Did like my clothes and outfits and everything. Just have to do like toiletries and stuff, which planning my outfits ahead of time has saved me so much stress. Usually the day before I'm freaking out about outfits. So I'm really happy I did it like two days in advance to make it easier for myself. So I just have like less stuff to pack today because I always have all the packing the day before, but I'm also trying to like prepare my apartment to leave and clean and get everything in order, you know what I mean? So I'm happy I gave myself like two days. Also, that's my outfit in the corner. If you can see, those are the pink pants for tonight. Can't wait for you to see. Okay, come on. Come on, buddy. We're going on a walk. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> All showered and clean. Yes, I'm in a bikini because we're about to self tan. I feel very funny being in a bikini in February, but we're gonna self tan, so that's why that's happening. I am so excited right now to shout out the sponsor of this video. Thank you so, so much, Loving Tan, for working with me on this video. If you guys didn't know, the very first self tanner I ever used was Loving Tan. My most favorite self tanner of all time is Loving Tan. They just have the best self tanners. It's like the best. Shade, you look so bronzy and glowy and not orange, not green. I swear, something about my skin tone, other self tanners that I've used, I turn green like legitimately green. That never happens with Living Tan. It's just so, such a good, like bronzy color. Just the best self tan of all time. And this is so exciting. I'm so excited to announce to you guys that. Their two hour express, I believe before they just had like the medium and dark. Now they have the two hour express deluxe bronzing mousse in the ultra dark. This was like their most requested thing. You don't even wanna see my whole drawer. I have like eight bottles of it. I just have like two others to show you. So the deluxe bronzing mousse in dark I have right here. This just like takes longer to develop. And then I also have the two hour express in the medium. So they have like medium, dark, ultra dark. And I'm so excited I need this right now because I don't feel like you can even tell, but this is like the palest I get. Here, let's show you the before and like natural lighting because I feel like in here it's hard to see. Oh no, not the natural lighting. <laughs> this is literally how pale I am right now. Like I said, this is just as pale as I get. Being pale is obviously fine, nothing against it. I just feel the most like confident, comfortable when I have a little bronze, a little tan going. I feel like I'm not alone in that, right? You would agree. So here's the before. You can see the back of me in here. I don't wanna get demonetized, but here's before. I'm just gonna pull back my hair. Please stay. <laughs> Here we go. You just go in circular motions. I also shaved before. You wanna make sure you're like exfoliating and shaving before. I'm so obsessed. 
I've always used the two hour in dark, but the fact that it comes in ultra dark now, I'm so excited. But yeah, that just gives you like a good prep. Also moisturize if you have like really dry areas like your hands, elbows, knees, stuff like that. Because that will just make the tan more even. Also, you can get face self-tanner from Loving Tan. I kind of just like go light on my hands so that you don't have like crazy looking hands. But for my face, what I do is like I have barely any left in my mitt now. And I kind of just go over my face with what's left over my mitt. That's just what's always worked for me. And if you have like more sensitive skin, you could definitely just use the self tanner like made for your face. Know that that's an option, but I just have never done that. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with my self tan right now i know i have a code for you guys if you use love gretchen you will get a free deluxe self tanning mitt with purchase so don't forget to use code love gretchen i'll have loving tan linked down below and you can be a bronzed queenie like me <laughs> if you haven't tried loving tan before it's literally the best self tanner my favorite you can already see how you just have such like a nice bronze like i love that it's the color that it's gonna end up being right away. You know what I mean? Like I don't look green, I don't look purple, I don't look orange, I just look nice, like natural and bronzy. Okay, see you in two hours. Self tan is all on. I don't wanna flash you, but like look how bronze we're looking already. It's 12.30, so I'll see you at 2.30 when we're all processed. Okay, here it is. Wash it off exactly two hours later. I have such a good bronzy glow going now. Can you see my back here? I'm so glad. That literally was so quick and so easy. Also, it's so nice, you guys, I didn't even mention that the tan dries your skin in 60 seconds. So you can throw on clothes right after. It never like transfers on anything, especially now that I rinsed it. It will not come off on anything like at all. Okay, Mac is in there gaming, so I can't show you in the exact same spot, but this is natural lighting out here. You can see such a difference. Also, if I left it on even longer, I'm sure it would have developed a little bit more, but I gotta run to my nail appointment, so it was perfect that it was just two hours. Feeling so good. Don't forget, use code LOVEGRETCHEN for a free tanning mitt with purchase. Okay, here's the before. They're so grown out. <laughs> Need to fill so bad. Just left my nail place and they look so good, you guys. I was so dramatic for them, like, oh my God, they're so horrible, I need to fill. Like, they weren't that bad. They were like, maybe mm, three and a half weeks, almost four weeks. Okay, I feel like you can't even see the color right now. I feel like the lighting is maybe better like this. Can we see? They look so good. Last time I came, which was actually the first time I ever got acrylics, this is the first time I ever had a fill. Oh, I just love the way they look. I feel like they're a little bit stronger than dip and I just love that I can do like gel colors now because I do gel polish on top. Last time I did one coat of OPI Funny Bunny and then one coat of the OPI Bubble Bath on top. I lied. I did one coat of Funny Bunny, two coats of the Bubble Bath on top, and then this time I did one coat Funny Bunny, one coat Bubble Bath on top to make it just like a little less pink and a little more just like whitish pink, like less pink, light pink, you know? Just thought I'd try it out. I just love them, they look so good. And I'm so happy I have some bronze on my hands. I could have done a better job at like moisturizing them before. I feel like the tan will always grab at like my knuckles and where it's like dry, but oh, it's so good. I'm just feeling good that I have a little bit of color going. Got the nails, feeling good for dinner. Also, <laughs> I put on the same clothes that I was wearing before I washed off my tan. Is that bad? I don't know. I don't really care. Cause I was just like, I'm, I don't feel like picking out a whole other outfit right now. But I'm gonna go home, do my makeup, get all ready for dinner. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so good. We're going to like our favorite steakhouse here, Top Cut. It's just gonna be so good. And I'm really happy that we just have this time as like our fake Valentine's Day. But also, since I live for Boston tomorrow and I'm gonna be gone for a week, it'll be nice to just like have a lot of quality time with Max before I go, you know?
that clip cut off while I was doing all my makeup because my car was full. But makeup is done. Literally how I always do it. Also, I put on my jewelry. I just got these hoops from Jennifer Fisher when we were in New York. And I haven't worn them yet. And I really like them. And I thought dinner tonight would be a good time to whip them out. My rings. I wear every day. Okay, let's go get dressed. This is the outfit I've been so excited to show you guys. I can't wait. Mm. This is the fit. I've been so excited about you guys. I said pink pants, right? Here they are. I've never worn them before. I feel like they're for a special occasion, and I thought this was the moment. Valentine's Day, a week late, but that's okay. Also, these shoes I feel like are so good with because these pants are so long. I didn't like tie them around my ankle yet because I probably will put them on at the last second before we leave, honestly, because they're kind of uncomfortable. But they're Steve Madden platform heels, which is so, so good. I'm bringing them to Boston. I don't know. I just love them. They obviously look like the Valentino ones. I feel like that's what they're kind of like base after, probably. I'm just assuming. These pink pants are Revolve. And then this white high neck top I recently got from Cuts. I love this tank from them. It's like that stretchy, comfy, thick ribbed material. I have it in black. And then it's kind of like open in the back. It's just so good. It's like flattering but comfy. I don't know how I didn't get makeup on here. I deserve an award for not getting any makeup on there since I put it on after I did my makeup. But yeah, I just love this. I can show you guys before we go. Like with the coat and everything, Max is gonna love. <laughs> this is the whole ensemble with this jacket from Zara. The shoes are all buckled up. Now you can see how they look. There you go. Also, I'm just <laughs> realizing that uh, the bag that I would use that would go with this is packed up in my suitcase, like fully zipped up, and I don't feel like getting it out. So, I don't know. Maybe it'll be a no bag night. <laughs> like, I don't even know. Here's the end of my espresso martini. Guys, it's so good. Watch my TikTok on how we make it exactly, because we've been in our espresso martini era, and I just like literally want one every day. Huh, this is so yummy. Boo Brody, lurk it in the back. <laughs> we made another one. You hey guys. Seriously, so good. Nothing better. <laughs> Look at how good our food looks. I forgot we literally got a lobster tail to share. Tell us how it is, honey. It's a lazy man lobster. Oh, because it's already like cut open. Is it good? Mmm. Max got a New York strip. It's an okay pod lobster, but that's pretty good. You taste a difference? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we got Brussels sprouts. Ooh, those look good. I got my filet. We both got truffle butter, of course. Yum. Not. Aww, look at this cake, you Not guys. Our favorite. <laughs> also, I thought it was so sweet. I literally just mentioned, like, in passing to our waitress about how this is, like, our Valentine's Day. And I was like, oh, his birthday's the day before, blah, blah, blah. And she brought this out and was like, this is still a birthday celebration. How cute. It's so good, you guys. This carrot cake. I feel like I get DMs from girls being like, I literally went just for the carrot cake because you always post about it. And it's the best thing in the whole world. <laughs> And now, we're home. <laughs> we're all in a pile on top of each other. <laughs> but that's that's Ro rubbing Brody's paws and he's kicking him. Hi. We missed you this evening. We love you. I feel like he was just getting kind of anxious because I was like finishing packing up. I love that I was like, I'm all packed. Like I was, but just like other things, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Still haven't even done Brody stuff. There's always just like so many little things to think of. And something people wouldn't realize is I have a whole bag of like tech things, like lighting, tripod, mm. cameras, chargers, extra batteries, little adapters, phone chargers, laptop chargers, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, there's just like so many things. When I'm creating content when I'm going. Oh, my outfit. What about a rug? I'm bringing Lucy a rug. I'm bringing Lucy two are those 30 gallon trash bags? 100 gallon? <laughs> I don't even Like those know. utility black trash bags? Like when you, like when you're filling industrial. up like leaves. Yeah, like industrial. Not leaves going, leaves no. going leaf bags. What goes in there? You know what I mean? Like stuff in your garage. Yeah. Or they're just in your garage. Cause they're the industrial ones, whatever. And I'm like, is this all gonna fit in my car? Remember when we used to bring Brody's crate everywhere? Oh, yeah, good thing we don't do that. That just made me realize that absolutely wouldn't work. It worked really well in my car because it completely laid mm -hmm. flat in the trunk so I could just stack stuff. But like, oh my God. 
I would say we have decently big size cars. Like we think our cars are small because we can. No, we compare them to like Tahoes and stuff. But our cars are big. Like they're not sedans. Like they're like crossovers. Is that what you call them? I would say they're like small SUVs. Mm -hmm. Like he has the Q. I was about to say three. Q five. five. I have the X three. They're like the same size, but um. They fill up quick, is what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say. Especially when you want your dog to have the whole back seat, then you have to shove everything yeah. in the trunk. <sighs> I'm exhausted. We had like a lovely dinner and then I had to come back and like mm. run around and get so, but I'm happy I did it now, then instead of in the morning, along. you know? Yeah. But I wanted to end off the vlog here, because today was such a good day. I did all the mm -hmm. things. Feeling like a tan goddess. Mm -hmm. You really well, can tell. me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like, here's the before and after. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, today was great. Our dinner was so good. Mm. That cake. You better not take mm. that to Boston. No, I'll leave it for you. Thank goodness. Now you're gonna feel bad and be like, take some. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was today. Mm -hmm. Today is over. It's almost midnight. See you later. I gotta watch some Survivor. Just a little. That's our toxic trait. We'll be like, we'll just watch half. Mm -hmm. We watched the whole thing. We'll watch 10, 15 minutes. Watch all day. Mm -mm. Suddenly 1 a.m. Where did the time go? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna watch Survivor. Love you. Yeah. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Wait, hi. P.S. at the end here. It's the next day. It's like a full 24 hours later. And I just wanted to show you guys. I feel like my tan developed even more than initially, like within the first 24 hours. Sorry, I'm not in my bikini, but I thought you'd still be able to tell with sports brown leggings yeah like i'm even more bronze than when i first rinse it off so fear not when you first rinse it off it'll still develop i believe within like the first day yeah oh i just felt so much better i didn't know last night especially in my like white top having a little bit of color so i didn't just blend in my shirt you know okay yeah that's the results just wanted to show you